Aloha! We just bought our tickets for Maui. I'm so happy. I am so, I'm relieved and I'm happy. Oh, it's my happy place. So we're going next February. And I was like, oh, I, I want to put on makeup. Like I'm all jazzed up. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do something for Maui. And, and so far this year I bought makeup or I've put together like a palette or something. Like the little homemade palettes from Urban Decay. For Maui, like with Maui in mind. So I'm going to sort of make a hodgepodge collection of all those things. So you could call it a beach look, you could call it a night look, you could call it a day look. I don't even know what's going to happen. Like at the end of this we're all going to be surprised. But it's Maui related so I put on my trusty headband. Give me some workspace. Try and keep the foundation out of my hair. One thing I'm definitely going to go in with is my Tarte Brighter Days highlighting moisturizer. Shine this bitch up. Obviously, if I'm going to be on Maui, I'm going to be sunburnt. So, I'm looking for not just moisture, but any semblance of visible moisture on my flesh that I can get so that people won't realize that I am, in fact, burnt crispy. <laughs> so, I'm going to give that just a second to set in while I dig out some of my goodies here. Sounds dirty. Um, first time I went to Maui, I had just turned 18. Uh, I went, basically it's like a high school graduation slash um, spring break slash birthday present, which was super cool. Um, and my mom and dad had been going for years and years at that point, and they were like, you're going to love it, you'll just, you'll get it. And I was like, at the time, I was like, probably not. I'll probably have a very nice vacation, and I will definitely enjoy it, but I won't get it. Like, it won't seep into my soul. I was a liar. Um, I was there three seconds, and I was like, I get it! Like, you just, there's no description. If you say to someone, did you get it or did you not get it, and they're like, what are you talking about? They didn't get it. If you go somewhere and you get it, it becomes part of you, and you become part of it, and it's just love. So... I am also, I'm shining it up, people. Like, I am shining it up. If you are not for the dewy look, don't do this. <laughs> if you like it dewy, if you like to look moisturized, do it. So, I'm going to go in with the Becca Backlight Primer, which is sort of like shine on shine on shine. I'm not going to use a whole lot, obviously. See that? See how I just look glistening and wet, kind of. But that's what I'm looking for. It's like I said, if I'm there, no matter what you do, no matter how much zinc you put on your face, it's going to get burnt. It's like, if you're super fair, all the precautions that you take are not going to prevent you from being burnt. It's just to, like how badly you're going to be burnt that first couple days. <laughs> Plenty of people can tell me I'm wrong, but I've had 28 years of this so far and every fucking time. Okay? Every time. <laughs> not just with Maui. Like, anywhere you know, here in the summer, like whatever, it's just, it's always like crispy. So I'm going to let that set for just a minute. I'm actually, I'm going to do my eyes first. I don't always do this, but I'm going to now. So I'm going to use the Tarte Shadow Insurance. It's been so, ooh, came out like gooey. Not in a good way. Okay, there we go. Rub it around my finger and then pat it. I don't know if the patting really does anything for it. I don't want to tell you it does because, you know, it might not, but just getting it in there, helping it dry. I bring it down a little bit. Some, sometimes you, you, you can't, like it, the primer will look weird. I have a NYX primer that is just solid white and it will look odd if I do that, but I do it when I do this because I tend to put eyeshadow in the corner of my eye sometimes, so you don't really have to, just as long as it's on your lid. I'm definitely going to start with my trusty, chubby, 
Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques. I, have, I lost it for a minute. Just going to rub this off here. And I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill. No, I'm not. I'm going to use that later. I'm going to start with the Urban Decay little mini palette that I made. So these are shadows that I picked out. Three of the four are straight glitter. It's kind of hard to tell, but these are glitter too. Um, the shade is called Tease. And it's just kind of a matte, like sepia brown kind of. And I'm going to take my brush, get some on there. Start here in the crease. Drag it around. The idea of this being a beachy look stems from the idea that there are brown shadows and sometimes sand is brown. <laughs> That's to me what makes a beachy look. Every time I see people say, this is a beachy look, I'm like, okay, brown shadow, I got it. But maybe not. Maybe for you, you're like, no, that's not a beachy look at all. I would never wear that to the beach. I'd never wear makeup in general to the beach, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Unless I was purposefully only going to the beach, say, to, like, do a little mini photo shoot. Which I plan on doing while I'm there. To do, like, a beach glam. Because at this point, that feels kind of like a rite of passage. So I'm just kind of rubbing tees all over my lid and in my crease here. I'm not necessarily worried about it coming up too high or staying too low. I'm just sort of a base. Just had to check to make sure they were even. Okay, I'm going to go with my fluffy brush. That's not been cleaned. I don't know how I'm going to get like half of the makeup that I want to take with me now. The brushes alone. I know a lot of people are like, why would you want to take makeup to Maui? Well, because, you know, Maui's part of my soul and so is makeup. So. Okay, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is actually a little bit lighter than the color I just put on. But in a way, it's kind of a richer tan, so. Right here on the outside, put it in the crease. Little circles. If you've ever not been to Maui, I highly recommend going during whale season. I've only ever gone, let's see, I've gone three times. This will be my fourth. Um, two out of the three were whale season trips. Uh, I'm actually so spoiled. I, I had such a bad time this summer. It's sort of weird because you don't really have a bad time in Maui. But it was a bad time. Like, I was severely depressed, so things were just a little bit not what they could have been, I guess you'd say. Um, we were also all kind of like pinching pennies, so nobody wants to go anywhere and pinch pennies, so that's, you know, that sucks. Um, but, you know, we were all just like, we just have to get to Maui. <laughs> we just want to go to Maui. Okay, I'm going to go in with this color right here. Um, so yeah, but whale season is just, I mean, it's, it's out of this world. There's, there's nothing really that can even describe it. We usually go down to Lahaina. We stay very close to Lahaina, actually. Um, and so we'll go down to Front Street and, you know, close to the pier and, well, not the pier, but the, the marina. And, you know, we'd just be like, oh, you know, let's, let's, let's do a whale watch. And so we would. We'd just book a whale watch while we were there. 
and usually we'd wait and, and go on it. And like they, the jumping and the tails, it's just, it's absolutely, I mean, it's, it's spellbinding. Actually, my favorite story is um, my first trip there. We got there. We usually do night flights there and back. And so when we first got there, I could, you couldn't see anything. I could, I could hear the ocean, but I couldn't necessarily see the ocean. And I remember hearing this clapping sound. It was literally like a sound. And I was like, Mama, what's that? And she was like, that's the whales. And I was like, no way. So the next morning, you would see them. And you could see them all the way out in front of Molokai. And they would jump. And then five seconds later would be the... It was the coolest thing ever. It was a total delayed, like, sound. And I just... I'll never get over it. Because it's just the coolest thing ever. Um, so I just... I totally... I highly recommend it. I highly recommend going. Even if you think you won't get it, just go to see the whales. Just, you know. Oh my god, just shoved my brush into my shadow. Um, I'm going to go in one last time with this shade right here. Just building and building and building at this point. Just want to have some nice... Nice color on my eyes, some definition, some depth. I'm focusing right in here because I don't know if it's my eye, if it's a combination of my eyelid and my stroking that you can always see that like stutter effect. And when I take pictures, I'm like, I see it. So I, you know, I'm always like, okay, well, look at this side because you can't see it as well. I like it. I mean, I hope, hope that I liked it. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. This last time I was in Maui, even though, um, or on Maui, last time I was on Maui, even though I wasn't necessarily in like the right frame of mind, like I said, I was really depressed. Um, we went snorkeling right outside our condo, which is what we always do. Now, when I say our condo, I don't mean like we own a condo on Maui. We are not that, we're not well off, at, at, like at all. Um, they have like rentals. You can rent condos, which I highly recommend you do because they can't be that expensive because my family goes. <laughs> if you if you knew me, if you knew my family, you'd know what that meant. Um but it's nice because then you can just like go to the store and make food instead of like eating out all the time. Um, okay, I'm going to save the rest of my lid for when I'm done because I'm going to do something kind of sparkly. Um, so yeah, but sorry. In all my due haste, I forgot to pick out a... Foundation. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, yeah, so we stay there, and right outside of our dogs are being goobers. Um, right outside of our condo is a really good, like, little, like. I call it the swimming pool because there's a reef and then there's like, I don't know how many yards and then another reef and then open ocean. So you could just, you, you feel safe. I'm a 28 year veteran of shark week. I love sharks. So for the longest time in my life, I did not go in the ocean. Um, that's not the case anymore. I can't wait to get in the ocean half the time. I can't wait to see a shark to be perfectly honest. Um, but that wasn't always the case, so. But yeah, I like I love um, snorkeling in there because it just makes me feel safe. And this last time, there had been two hurricanes that actually sort of both bypassed Maui, so the water was horrendous. And my parents had been talking up 
Maui in the summertime as it was because the, the waters that I was always used to, which are crazy clear, are a little bit rough, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Um, versus in the summertime, they kept telling me, like, it's, it's still as glass. It's crazy. Well, this time it wasn't because of those hurricanes. But also just the water clarity was the worst I had ever seen it. Um, but, you know, that didn't stop us from going out in hopes that, you know, maybe we'd see something or, well, we just, we, we can't just not go in the water. And because the current was so crazy, it kept, like, buffing me back into the, the core, the little reef that was there. And I had put my hand out with my gloves, by the way, to stop myself. And I saw what I thought was a fish poking out of the hole. And I was like, oh, a little white fish. And you can see it in my GoPro. I'm like, oh. And then I realized that it's a fucking eel. And I was like, oh, my God, it's an eel. So that was my exciting experience from this time on Maui. Because it was just like, oh. oh. But ever since then, now I've, I'm certain that... Um, I have an eel in my ancestral line, you know. Grandma Tala has the mantas and I have eels. If it's not an eel, it's a shark, but I'm pretty confident it's an eel. My mom is a turtle. My mom says she's going to be a turtle. Because one of her first times, she has a picture of her. This was the tart love flush, by the way. I'm just jabbering on. Um, one of the times that she went, she had a picture of what she called her lady turtle. How she knew it was a lady, no idea. It may not have been, but she's, you know, it was my lady turtle. And uh, this is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. And one of the times that I went, I was actually just coming out of the reef, and this was the very first time I had ever snorkeled and ever really got in the ocean, you know. And I, I was in there for a good 45 minutes, which was sort of crazy for me because... I love and I'm afraid of sharks, you know, and I was just getting out and I heard somebody yelling and it was, uh, just another, another, um, guy on top of the seawall and he was shouting something and pointing and it, I couldn't tell what he was saying. I thought he was saying shark and I turned around as I'm trying to get off of the coral wall that you pretty much have to climb over, um, as deftly as you can. You do not want to harm that coral. Uh, and it was a freaking turtle. It was the biggest turtle. And this was my man turtle. He was a man. How I knew he was a man, I have no idea. He's so big, he's probably a woman. Whatever, he's my man turtle. And I snorkeled with him for 25 minutes. And he kept coming up to me. And I wanted to be like, turtle, bro, we're going to collide at some point. The, the, the tide is not allowing this. So that's the story of my turtle. Okay, so this is the Becca Maui Nights Sunlit Bronzer. Why do you think I bought it? I, I literally was walking with my friend and I said, Oh, it says Maui Nights. That'll be mine. Anything to do with Maui. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to swirl. This is sort of my precision bronzer brush in the sense that it's smaller than my big fat one. Maui Nights comes out very coppery on me, in a good way. I don't mean that in like an orangey way, I mean that in a very good way. This is what I consider like my intense bronzing. Um, I'm sure some people would consider this like their normal bronzing and that's totally cool. You know, it's whatever you want. I can hear my dog barking. I hope nobody else can. But this is when I want that very obvious, very sun-kissed. I'm having a hard time, sorry, I'm having a hard time telling if that side's even. I'm going to get out of here and be like, oh my god. Just whatever's left over down here. Um, so yeah. I'm going to just barely do my brows. I'm not really looking to do a brow necessarily. I just want to fill them in.
just to kind of um, work off some of that foundation that's on there. little white spot that's it's bugging the crap out of me <laughs> my other one of my other favorite Maui memories is that the first time I ever went to Lush was on Maui it was the Lush Maui um, and I bought the Lush, uh, whatchamacallit, Rub 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 uh, body scrub, the actual liquid body scrub. I can't shave my legs every day because I get horrible, like, rash, um, and it sucks. Okay, okay, good. Um, with that, I could. I could shave every day, which is obviously what you look for when you're on the beach. Um, so yeah, and, and now whenever I smell it, that's exactly what I think of. I think of Maui. Sorry, he's looking for my eyelash curler. He's like, where'd it go? It was really funny. I collected, friend and collected all my charity pots. You know, if you collect five, you turn them in, you get a free face mask. Um, I had five of them saved for over like a year. Sorry for the cliffhanger. Um, and I waited till we went back to Maui for me to do it. For me to like turn him in and get face masks. These, this, these eyelashes are droopy. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. We're going to go back to my little Urban Decay palette. This is a, compared to this one, this is a little bit darker. It's not quite gold. It's not quite tan. It's just, it's sandy. Um, go figure. It's called Maui Waui. Once again, why do you think I bought it? It's very glittery. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is glittery. I'm doing mostly the inner corner in the middle. Don't worry about that bit that's up top. We're going to blend it out. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I've got crimson peacock. So if you hear crying and screaming, it's, it's a media swear. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm taking another blending brush and I'm going to blend that around just so it's not like crazy um boom you know that kind of that line just be nice and bright cheery happy I'm going to take my little pencil brush and I'm going to go back with that very first shade that tease color and I'm going to put it under my eyelid my eyelashes down here kind of blend it up in be careful when you bring it up because if you have a precision brush it will literally be like a little line and I don't know about anybody else but I find it stupid difficult to blend after that
I like this color because it's it adds a darkness, but it's not, you know, overly dark. There we go. And we're going to take a white eyeliner. You can use a matte white, you can use a coal white, whatever suits you. This is Urban Decay. This is a little bit like pearl kind of. And this is in the Yayo shade. I'm going to put it on my eyelid just to open things up. And then get it all over my lower lashes for good measure. I use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I can't remember if I told you that when I put on my mascara, but I'm going to use that now. This could be a good look for going to lunch, going to breakfast. Um, Go into a luau. I mean, it sort of depends on you. If you're the kind of person that isn't necessarily like, ha, oh, you know, um, all about making a statement and having your makeup being seen in the dark. I'm not exactly sure which one I am. <laughs> I haven't really decided yet. A bit of both, actually. When the mood sways me. This is a pointed brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 118. I like it because it's pointy. And I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use this nice, pretty, shiny color right here. I'm sorry, I just saw my dog jumping on the wall. Um, and I'm going to put it right up top. Blending down softly as my brow highlight. Yeah, and I'm going to use choices, choices, choices. I'm going to go back with my Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Glow Kit, the Nicole Glow, and I'm going to use Glow Getter, and that's this one right here. I love it. It's like straight up gold. It's pro It was not the first one I thought that I would like. I actually was assuming I would like this one in Forever Lit, and I mean, well, I do. This one's my favorite glow getter, it's my absolute favorite. Because I'm personally going for something, you know, sunlit, I'm going to bring it up closer over here. As you can see, this kind of accents those little lines that I have. If that bothers you, don't bring it up. If you're like me and you could care less, bring that bitch all the way up and around. There we go. On my Cupid's bow. Chin. This is the Anastasia A23 brush, by the way. And... I have a very specific Tarte lip gloss that I want to get that I did not get out because I am ill prepared. And thank God I found it right now. No, I didn't. Psych. Now I'm wondering if I even have it in here. It would be my luck that I wouldn't even have it in here. I don't really care. I changed my mind. We're going to go with the Bite Beauty uh, Fig. I believe this is from the Amouge Bouche Lipstick. Fig is a very pretty pink color. I 
don't know about you guys, but I have a goofy Cupid's bow. Like, it could be pointy, it could be rounded. It could not exist at all. So sometimes putting on lipstick is like the bane of my existence. I like it because it's such a nice, pretty pink. Without being like too overbearing, you know? Alright, and because we're on the beach, we're going to use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. It smells like coconut. <laughs> and there we go. This is my beachy Maui look. This is going to Cat and Jack's for some tacos on Front Street. Cheeseburger in Paradise. Aloha mix plate. I can I can just smell the shogi chicken. <sighs> so thank you for letting me chat all about Maui. It is that has hardly even touched on the experiences that I've had there. It is my favorite, 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 favorite place to be. And now that we have our tickets, I look forward to telling you more and more about Maui as I do more and more looks for Maui. Um, so if you liked it, if you like this look, if this is a pretty look, hit the like button, hit subscribe even, <gasps> be daring. <laughs> I hope to see you back. Bye.